Suppose you wish to find the S parameters for this simple network. Since this is a two-port network, its characterization will involve two measurement arrangements. The first will involve a test voltage on the left side and a match termination on the right, and the second will involve a test voltage on the right and a match termination on the left. Since both ports have the same characteristic impedance, Z0, a match termination at either end can be achieved by loading that port with a resistor equal to Z0. So here's the first measurement setup. This will give us both S11 and S21. To calculate S11, we remember that S11 is defined as the ratio of V1 minus to V1 plus, when all other ports, in this case just port 2, are match terminated. The ratio of V1 minus, the output wave, to V1 plus, the input wave, is gamma in, the reflection coefficient seen looking in port 1. So S11 is equal to gamma N1 for this measurement configuration. Gamma N1 is set by the relationship between the port 1 characteristic impedance, Z0, and the input impedance to the system seen from port 1, according to this equation. And the input impedance to the system looking into port 1 is given by this equation, Z1 plus the combination of Z0 and Z3 in parallel with Z2. We can plug this into the equation for gamma N1 to obtain S11 for this network. We can also find S21 from this measurement setup. To calculate S21, we can use circuit analysis to show that the relationship between the total port voltage at port 1, V1, and the total voltage at port 2, V2, is given by this equation. Then we need to remember that the total port voltage at port 1 is equal to V1 plus plus V1 minus or V1 plus times 1 plus S11, and V2 is equal to just V2 minus, because port 2 is match terminated. So if we plug these in, our equation becomes this, so that S21 is given by this equation. The second measurement setup is shown here. Now the input is at port 2, and port 1 is match terminated. This will give us both S22 and S12. Again, S22 is going to be equal to the reflection coefficient looking into port 2. So we start by finding the input impedance looking into port 2, which is Z3 plus Z2 in parallel with the combination of Z0 and Z1. So the reflection coefficient looking into port 2 is given by this equation, and S22 is equal to this reflection coefficient. Finally, to find S12, we need to find V1 in terms of V2 which is a simple circuit analysis problem with this solution. In this case, the total voltage at port 2 is equal to the sum of the inbound wave, V2 plus, and the outbound wave, V2 minus, or V2 plus times 1 plus S22, and V1 is just equal to V1 minus. So if we plug those into this equation, we can get the final answer for S12. So this is the total scattering parameter matrix for this two-port network.